what is good day youtube and welcome to channel today video will be about void cascade now we all know you can farm steel assets on void cascade playing it on steel path you can farm arcanes and give them for phosphor or farm arcanes and sell them for platinum and there is something new happening on dante inbound the void cascade will become a void fisher where you can farm from parts uh, which makes it the end game and the meta node to play right now uh, let's uh, start and as always, we take beginner's friendly approach for all Tannos at different levels to learn something. Where the Void Cascade is located. It's located on Zariman. Two full commons, either Grenier or Corpus. It will never be Grenier. So you want to change the faction mod um, damage multiplier on your weapons accordingly to the faction you are fighting. You can do it either on normal or steel path. Of course, you will want to do it on steel path. So in top of those arcanes you're farming for platinum or to just uh, have because there is rare arcanes you want to farm steel assets and with dante unbound you can farm prime parts as well and in steel path you can reach level cap and of course in future videos i'll make you top weapons about level cap and what best weapons and so on and so on and so on and let's go and welcome Tano to the steel path void cascade all right first thing you want to do when you just load in the mission to go to the red mark that's called the equalizer but you will see this bubble mm, what is this bubble this bubble you can access only with the operator and you will see this void protecting this this is called an equalizer to take down this void protection you want to shoot it with the arm of your operator boom 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 and then you want to shoot the void manifestation ball right here and there is an enemy called the thrax centurion will spawn this is the most dangerous enemy in this whole game mode okay so you want to take it down as fast as possible boom 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 but taking it down you will see it's still alive in a ghost form and if you leave it unintended it will consume one of nearby enemies and it will come back to life and it's not only that it will try and take even your equalizer oh my god that's a very mean enemy all right so you take it down and then what you want to do you go to operator and shoot it with your arm so it's down now how you win this game mode it's really simple you see this this is our rounds every round have four equalizers you need to take now i have one i don't have the other so the more enemies have they will push toward me losing the more i have i will push towards me winning and even sometimes when you are winning you will see the bar is a bit red the reason for that because you're not killing enemies around the equalizer simple as that so you want to kill all the enemies always around the equalizer and you want to go and take every single red equalizer and that's parkour where it comes or speed or bringing a speed warframe the reason for that is sometimes when i'm fighting this one right a thrax will try and take the other so i have to really quick move to the next one and protect it you don't want to lose it all right the more you lose it the le the the slower the game will be and that will give you a hard time since we're playing against Grenier, there is a, uh, an enemy called the Kuva uh, Trukarian. It will throw a spear. That spear will create a red bubble that will give you a hard time. You can dash through it or shoot with your amp. Remember that. In the uh, corpus, it's okay. You can just avoid the nullifier. As you can see, all these enemies, they're okay right here. But you don't want them to be near the equalizer. But killing them near the equalizer will benefit. So you get the whole idea. Now look at this trucks trying to take it away simple take it down and boom and you keep repeating the same thing over and over again but it will get uh, like uh, more tough forward and forward and forward in the game and let's go to simulacrum so i can show you how to take down this thrax as easy as you see right now and to kill thrax you need to learn about thrax now what they're vulnerable for void like any other enemy uh, viral slash heat and corrosive and puncture i will show you how to combine viral and uh, corrosive together to create a mamma mia power now at level cap 9999 look at this amount of hp but you can take it down easy how armor strip you can armor strip using unairo but we don't want to do that because i want to run my void strike very quick boom 1000 percent damage and shooting short it, it taking it down easily okay i will show you the arm build and everything in a second okay now you can use uh, 25 from necros helmet ability you can use pillage from uh, hildren you can use uh, uh Theros strike from scanax and so on and so on and so on but that's not my favorite way my favorite way is running two emerald archon shards and running nourish my weapon is corrosive so my weapon corrosive viral from nourish and i will reach 14 stacks of corrosive 
to totally armor strip that enemy. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at that. Okay, here we go. Dead. Dead. You will not even see it, armor strip. I need to shoot it in the leg so you can see. There you go. Armor strip. Doing a headshot, it's almost like one shot in it. Look at that. There is no way any of these structures will survive my burst gun. And there is many, many other weapons can do so much power against these enemies. And we're gonna do that in another video where I go like the best weapons for Void Cascade and so on and so on and so on. As I still testing a lot of weapons and I wanna make sure all the weapons can take you to level cap without any uh, problem. Right? Boom, 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 boom. Easy as that. And now, because we're not using Unairo to armor strip, our Void Strike is available. Boop. 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 And you will not find this amount of tracks in one location at all. You get the point? Alright, now let me take you to the uh, arsenal so I can show you the build. Alright, Revenant build, we're running Nourish, two uh, Emerald Darkon Shards, and we're gonna, gonna run three Viola Darkon Shards as I'm running a Glaive. Okay, Revenant build, Rifle Amp, Arcane Rage, Arcane Acceleration, uh, Ogre Secrets, Intensify, Continuity, Ogre Message, Flow, Rolling Guard, uh, Blind Rage, uh, Transit Fortitude. Some Thanos would say, Hank, why are you running Rolling Guard, bro? I mean, you have Mesmer skin. Sometimes when you're running against Corpus and they're just behind you and there is like a Thrax in front of you, a Rolling Guard will save the day. But you don't use it. You don't want to use it. Don't use it. It's up to you. All right. Burst on build. There you go. Galvanized Chamber, Primate Bane of Grenier. You want to change it depends on the faction you're fighting. Grenier or Corpus. Point Strike, Malignant Force, uh, Galvanized Aptitude, uh, Vital Sense, uh, Hammer Shot, uh, High Voltage, uh, Vigilante Supplies, uh, Primary Mercialize. Now, if you don't want to use Primary Mercialize, of course, you can use the Dead Head. No problem at all. Uh, now, Evolution 1, of course, to activate the Incarnate Form. Evolution 2, Forceful Finality. Evolution 3, uh, Kinetic Battle. Evolution 4, uh, Absolute Valor. Now, Dual Toxicist and other weapons, I'm going to get through them in another video. Now, Glaive Prime, this is the build I'm using. Since I'm running Nourish with melee influence, uh, electricity Glaive will deliver viral to all enemies uh, around. And none of these builds are with, like, uh, a ribbon. Now, Panzer Profiler is the best bet uh, in this case to proc viral and so on to help you with the stacks very, very quick. Now, let me take you to the Operator. For the operator, I'm gonna run 177. It took me to level cap. Easy as that. Alright, Magus Elevate on transference for health. I didn't use it much. Magus Lockdown, very nice at certain uh, situations. Uh, Eternal Eradicate uh, on operator ability, 60% damage for amps for 8 seconds. And Eternal Onslaught on energy deplete from Void Strike. Alright, 180% critical chance for 8 seconds and that's your operator. And now I will leave you with the full run that I did with this loadout. I hope you enjoy and I come back to you afterwards.
And welcome back Tano, I really hope you enjoyed this and I hope I delivered all the information you need to run your Void Cascade. Now the reason I made this video again because the Void Cascade will become a Void Fisher and it will make it not even the end game, it will make it the meta node to play and the game mode to play right now and it's really really fun and I'm doing it during uh, my live streams Monday, Wednesday and uh, Saturday if you want to join me on a Void Cascade level cap run always uh, you can join my live stream and don't forget guys if you want to support the channel hit that sub like and let me know in the comments below if you find this video helpful join our discord the link on the description big love and i will see you guys next time and don't forget there will be videos uh, about uh, best weapons best primary best melee and so on and so on for the void cascade when it gets released alongside with the dante inbound everything you need and see you guys next time